Christmas time. We get to talk movies, and thank heavens for that today. Uh, a bit of light relief uh, and escape uh, in the cinema in the form of our movie critic from Stratford upon Avon with their good, bad, and on demand choices. For us again this week is James Luxford. Morning, James. Good morning. Thanks for coming on uh, this morning. Uh, this first film you picked, kind of timely, isn't it, with uh, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee uh, just around the corner? Absolutely. Uh, it couldn't be uh, better timed. It is the documentary Elizabeth, a portrait in parts. It is in cinemas Friday, and it's a documentary uh, looking at the life and times of Her Majesty the Queen. It's a question maturing into something that one's got used to doing. And accepting the fact that here you are, and, and it's your fate. God save the Queen! Is it any good? I thought it was good, yes. It's made from archive uh, footage from throughout her career and the many different moments in history uh, she lived through. And it's quite, you know, it's quite something to see, you know, of course... Things like, uh, you know, there's anecdotes from uh, her time with Winston Churchill right up to the millennium and beyond. And um, it really hammers home uh, the, the the breadth of her reign. And it's a bit of a reminder of the, you know, the prestige and how she's revered by the people and what she means to so many. Mm. Um, it's not necessarily anything you don't know already. And, I, you know, depending on how you feel uh, about the monarchy or something like that, this isn't going to turn non-believers into believers, but it's <laughs> a nice celebration if you're excited for the big weekend, if you've got the bunting out, if you're planning a, uh, a street party, uh, this is a good starter, I think. Good. And where can we see this, James? It'll be in cinemas from Friday. OK, good to know. Uh, it is Elizabeth, a portrait in parts, and that documentary, uh, James's good selection this week. So if that's the good, uh, what's the bad? Uh, my bad is Firestarter in cinemas now, which is nothing to do with the band Prodigy. Uh, it's a new adaptation of the Stephen King novel about a girl with special abilities being sought out by the government. Do you know what it means to be on the run? Bad men are after us. Really bad. I hate living like this! You're special, Charlie. I'm not special! I'm a monster! Charlie! I want to help her. You want to use her? She's the first of her kind. A real life superhero. So, uh, this, this sort of felt to me, just looking at the trailer, and I've seen the sort of the trailer in the the cinema, James, a bit sort of a confused uh, mixed bag of sort of, you know, we know Stephen King for doing horror movies, yet this is kind of a conspiracy slash uh, Avengers superhero thing going on here. It sort of, fought, for me, it sort of fell between all of it, really. Yes, and I think just, uh, as you said there, a poorly adapted film that's a bit confused about its inspiration. Uh, the plot from the book has been cut down to the point where it's, a little bit incoherent, to be honest. The acting is very stiff, despite the presence of a big star in uh, Zac Efron, who you just heard there. Uh, and the special effects are a bit well, cheap-looking, which I think is unforgivable uh, for a big-budget movie, um, or really of any budget movie, to be honest. I think even lower-budget films now have uh, fairly convincing special effects. Um, there was a previous film about this in, I believe, the 80s, starring a young Drew Barrymore, which isn't very well-remembered, but uh, this somehow manages to be worse. Definitely one to avoid for me. Okay. Uh, that's the bad uh, for this week. Uh, let's move on to your on-demand uh, suggestion. My on-demand is Coco on iPlayer Now, the Disney Pixar family film about a boy whose love of music leads him to accidentally enter the land of the dead. I am not like the rest of my family. There's something that makes me different. Great, great grandfather, I want to be a musician just like you. All right, who's in there? I'm sorry. Welcome to the land of your ancestors. <laughs> Miguel? We're your family. You're skeletons. You're alive. They've got a hard act to follow, haven't they, Pixar? It's been known for so many great animations for, uh, uh, bre you know, br breaching the divide between kids and adults. Have they managed to do that with this? 
I think so. I think it's a fine addition to the Pixar legacy. As you said, there are so many movies uh, in that canon that are not just good family films. They're great cinema. Things like Wally Up, uh, of course, the Toy Story films. Um, I, I don't know if you can add this to that. It's you know, I think it's something you only really uh can say with time if it stands the test of time but this is just a very sweet film about family uh the first pixar film from latin america it's very thoughtfully put together features terrific music and uh that sort of unmistakable mixture of humor and sentiment that you expect from pixar movie great fun good stuff james uh, always good to hear from you and uh next week uh, with the jubilee in mind i'm sure there'll be lots more to talk about then so uh, enjoy the weekend and thanks very much for uh, for coming on this morning as ever thank you james luxford uh, from stratford upon avon uh, with their good bad and on-demand choices our movie critic with us every thursday morning on bbc cwr those overrunning road